Wow, welcome to the dish. And to my co host, Miss Terry Knight. Hey, how are you, Terry? Uh, well, a little tired after the shoveling and the snow blowing, but other than that, I'm good. Yeah, we got hit pretty hard with a snowstorm here in beautiful Minnesota in December. Yeah, well, but at least in my area, we're still luckier than a whole bunch of other folks. So. Yeah, same here. We got we got wet snow. We got about, I'd say, three, four, probably four inches. I was all blading my driveway this yeah. morning. Yeah, otherwise that's called heart attack snow. Yep. Yep, yeah. I realized that real quick. That, that <laughs> yeah. really wet stuff. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll, blow, I'll get what I can, and the rest of it's just going to have to melt or wait. Yep. So That's right. Well, Terry, there's a lot to hash today since yeah. we last talked a week or so ago on mm-hmm. the bold and the beautiful. <laughs> well, let's start with uh, Dr. Finn and Steffi uh, were at um, Deacon's apartment, and they tell him that um, they think Sheila's still alive. Mm-hmm. And you that's kind of where you and I left off last week. Yeah. But I bring it up just because our kind of story kind of moves forward from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So Sheila, um, after that all happened, so Sheila ends up, because Deacon says it's time for you to go, basically. Mm-hmm. And so she finally reluctantly does leave. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of interesting because when she walked out the door, they kind of paused that scene for just a second. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wondered if either Sheila was going to go back to Deacon's apartment or he kind of acted like maybe he was going to, you know, get up and, and say, don't go, go kind of thing. I know. Did you notice he's, that? He's out of his mind. But he yes, is, he's totally lost. He it. he looked like he was falling in love with her, and you think, "Are you? Whoa, okay, all righty then." I guess that explains the guard in the prison, the one <laughs> yeah. that always <laughs> helps her out. <laughs> Whatever she's got going on, she's I don't know, Terry. Good at it, it, apparently, there. yeah, there must be something there. <laughs> All right, we won't speculate as what I, what yeah, that might we be. Probably shouldn't. All right, all right. So then uh, after that, so things you know that all takes place, and then Steffi. Uh, now help me out with the restaurant here. Il I didn't Giardino. have time to. Go- I, I spelled it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so say it again, Giardino. Il Giardino. Elder. Il. Il Giardino. Il. Yes. Got it. Il I'm just Giardino. gonna say that restaurant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Soon to be called. Soon to be oh, called. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, right. That's true. Yeah. Good point. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So so Steffi runs into, uh, um, oh, I, I, I actually made an error here. I can tell I'm still in a COVID yeah. fog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Steffi runs into, I, I put in the agenda, Steffi, Steffi. runs into Steffi. <laughs> oh, no, you Steffi did. didn't run into Steffi. <laughs> Steffi ran into Sheila. Uh, at the, at, the, re- at okay. the restaurant. Yes. <laughs> um, what's funny is, so she, you can see Steffi looking at her like, I should I know you kind of thing? Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and then looks down at her feet, and she's got open-toed sandals on, <laughs> and notices, you know. That was Terry, perfect. <laughs> I know. The detective in me keeps, I keep when I keep seeing this toe, I'm yeah. looking really close, and I got to admit, a couple times I'd pause to see because I'm trying to figure out how they videographed this thing, <laughs> you know, to make it because obviously mm-hmm. they didn't cut her toe off. I don't think for the show. No, no. But I'm like, how the hell? I, the detective in me comes out. Yes. It's kind of like, yeah. How do they do this? And as somebody that edits video, it's not hard. <laughs> you would they know can that, get that yeah. they can get that out of there. Really, especially well. They have a lot better equipment than I use when I edit videos, but yeah. <laughs> and probably at the Soap Dish Studios. Oh, yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sure that's true. But it sure looks real. That's why I was struggling yeah, with it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. All right. So then, uh, so Sheila, or Steffi ends up saying Sheila, and yeah. she just kind of looks, and her, both of their eyes get kind of big, and, and Sheila bolts out of the out of the restaurant 
I was a little bit surprised that she bolted like she did, but it was I was it was great because it, it plays well into that whole thing. But what I was really impressed with was Steffi's acting following that, going mm-hmm. through those emotions because that would be unbelievable to have gone through that mm-hmm. and then run into her. And so I thought that was a really good, that was a great scene. I think so too, yeah. All right, so then the police are called and they show up. Oh, okay, Terry. So our favorite (laughs) detective now, police chief. Yeah. He must be chief now because they were calling him chief. Notice that? No, I didn't. Because he was detective when you and I first knew him on the show. Then he was deputy chief, so that's second in command. I thought I could have sworn there was a couple now times the other day they were calling him chief. Well, now then Sanchez is going to have to be deputy chief. I suppose. Okay. Moving on. You kind of see how this goes, don't you, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, anyway, it's, uh, so Baker makes his, his return to the show. Yes. And he's questioning everybody and. I kind of like how they all, you know, like Finn, he kind of goes after Baker and, well, you got to, you know, he's kind of giving them more marching orders and all that. Um, And then, uh, so Deacon gets questioned and then he ends up, they end up kind of saying there could be security footage there, right? Of that confrontation Mm -hmm. or the meeting up between Sheila Mm -hmm. and Steffi. So Deacon goes back to, I don't understand why he went back to his apartment, but whatever. Um, and then he, he, he's on the computer looking up the surveillance f- uh, footage and he finds it, mm-hmm. um, the, you know, the, the meeting. So then he ends up calling Sheila on the phone, cell phone, the burner phone, the burner phone. Yeah. And he reaches her and, uh, tells her that you, you know, you better get out of here. They're hot on your trail. They, you know, you ended up getting caught by Steffi and da da da. And then mm-hmm. she says, and again, like you said, what she got going, Terry. Yeah. So she says, you bur- you delete that video right now, you know, kind of thing. And he's so stupid. And he ends up doing it. I know. It's like, what is the matter with you? You had so many opportunities to fess up and to, to save yourself because now you are completely screwed. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's, you know, but then there'll be chases and there's, there's plenty of, uh, predictions for that too. But, um, I just thought, are you out of your mind? And then it didn't play well to me that he goes up to his apartment with a laptop that has that video. Wouldn't that be in a location in the restaurant in one of the you know, broom closet thing or whatever, but it wouldn't be on a laptop, would it? Well, here's my theory. I don't, I don't it, know. Well, actually what it could be in, in the way it works a lot of times nowadays with uh, private security, stuff like that is it's, it's in the cloud. So oh. you, you have a private company that's storing that data in the cloud. Okay. And so, yes, he really could sign on basically anywhere to look at that footage. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But anyway, I just, when I said that. I don't own anything worth surveilling. (laughs) (laughs) The only other thing I would say is, though, is that it's a little bit suspicious that why why did you have to do that, right? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. To me, if I'm the cops, I'm like, well, why did you go back up to your apartment to view that? Why couldn't you have done that right here or, you know, in a back office somewhere at the restaurant, you know? Oh, yeah. That, to me, looks suspicious. And in front of, yeah. Okay, good. Well, hopefully that will be to Chief Baker. Although, mm, we'll see. Yeah. yeah he's exactly. not I don't, He's not my favorite cop. Oh. I'm just saying. Which that would one be is? you. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, retired. Retired, favorite retired yes. cop. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank anyway. you, Terry. Certainly. But um, did you, (laughs) I know we don't have the, you don't have this written on here, but I have to mention about Deacon starting to pack 
Yeah. And then he's going to go to Italy to get Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for bringing that up. To buy Il Giardino and turn it into Deacon's Place? <laughs> Boy, does that sound classy. I don't know. Il Giardino or Deacon's Place? Well, you get yeah. a burger, you know. I mean, it's just, just gone from a classy joint to a dive bar. <laughs> yeah, that you ride your Harley to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's going to go to a biker bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So that's interesting. And it's okay with this PO. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Parole officer doesn't care. Yeah, go ahead. Go on to Italy. Yeah. I know that happens often with convicted felons. Yeah. Especially Aren't they there? The, they're off to buy a million dollar restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, anyway, that, that, I thought thanks that for was, bringing that up. I, I thought that was so funny. It, it was a good scene. You're right. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, the other major storyline that we got going on. Wow, this was pretty crazy. So Ridge flies back home. Uh, I think yesterday he kind of showed up back in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, in L.A. But uh, he flies back home and ends up at today at Forrester Creations, um, he's expecting Terry to make his announcement on who's the big winner. Yes. Who's the big winner, Taylor exactly. or Brooke, mm-hmm. that he wants to spend the rest of his life with? Yeah. At least the rest of his life with for now. <laughs> oh, good point. Touche. Touche. Mm-hmm. Yes. But there's a big surprise here. Um. This shocked me. I did not see the writers going in this direction, yeah. but I like it. Me too. Um, Taylor and Bro- while while Ridge was gone, when he didn't anticipate Taylor and Brooke had bonded, mm-hmm. um, and they, they ended up telling him in the end that they're choosing themselves. Mm-hmm. He just stood there, just dumbfounded, <laughs> uh, and they walked out of the office hand in hand. Wow, I was I will, I really was surprised. I loved that because I can hear women all over going, "Yes! Yeah. It's about time. He ain't that great." You know? So, yeah, this is this is going to be good. I I I appreciated that they did that. You I know, did not see it coming at all. So. No, oh, I think they did a good job on that because I don't think most people anticipate, would have anticipated that. Well, and, no, and and listening to Steffi and Hope argue over who's who he's going to yeah, choose. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Good job, ladies. Yes, and, and the other writers. thing uh, to to your point, Terry, um, on a couple of the soap websites today, they were there was a lot of yeah kudos for women, mm-hmm. you know that the, this story was long overdue. That yeah. these two women were, you know, chasing after him. And it's kind of like at some point, why? Yes, absolutely. It's, I, I wonder, I wonder if they were getting static from women saying, you know what, this, this is ridiculous. He's an asshole. I mean, sorry. I bet you're but right. He really though. is. No, I bet you're right about that because mm-hmm. I, I bet they get a boatload, especially with uh, today's technology and the amount of, you know, social media and email and texts and all, you know, everything that would be coming in on that. And women being more empowered. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Absolutely. Great. So, go get them, ladies. Yeah, that was great. It was, and, and Ridge is just like he just standing there like. Well, I sure as hell wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a smack down there, buddy. Yeah, he did. He Ooh. thought he was going to walk out of there arm in arm with one of them. Yep. Who do I you know? Okay. I can't have one of you. I can only you, have one of I you. I can only have one of you. Which mm-hmm. which of which one of you is going to be so lucky as that I choose you? Yeah. Wow. Well, let's move into predictions because okay. one of the predictions I'd like to ask you first, okay. if he was going to choose. Who would he have chosen, Terry? And why? I think he was. I think he would have chosen Brooke. And one of the biggest reasons, frankly, is the sex, because it's alluded to when they're together, is that I think she's more his sexual 
I hate to use the word equal, but yeah, kind of that. Um, it's always seemed that way. So I, that's, that's what I, I think. And she, and she challenges him a little bit more. Um, Taylor is a little too smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I think. How about you? What did you actually think? agree with everything you said? I, I probably yeah. would have just about said exactly the same thing. Um, Taylor is more of an intellectual and yes. I think, um, she actually doesn't, I know she had a weak moment here at the wedding and all that, but I think mm -hmm. overall she doesn't need a man as much as Brooke does. Exactly. Um, yes. Yes. She's smart enough that it's like, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not turning my, you know, my whole self over to, mm -hmm. to a yeah. man, especially if the man, you know, which is, I think what ultimately ended up happening, especially if the man doesn't know what the hell he wants. Yes, absolutely. And I loved the way they played this. I, I loved the way they, they went back and forth talking to him and telling him the reasons that whole thing was very well scripted. I thought they did. The writers did a great job on that. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't build it up a little bit more. I mean, they did build it up. The the bonding that they did before yeah. Ridge showed up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not disappointed, but I do think they could have done. They could have stretched it out more. They could have stretched that out a little bit. Which I, is I wouldn't unusual, have wanted to see that go on forever, but I think yeah. they could have done at least another episode kind of covering that. I, there's a little piece of me that wonders if Ridge is going to, the actor is going to take a sabbatical or, mm. you know, if he's, and maybe that's why they decide, well, yeah, let's just cut this scene. Let's, you know, he's got something else going on. Mm, that was my thought. So, I don't know. Behind the scenes. Cool. All okay. right. So what else you got? What do we got for predictions today, Terry? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb because Sheila's not going to go away. Um, she's not going to go fly anywhere, I don't think. I think she's going to somehow get an opportunity to take Hayes. And she's going to use him as a bargaining chip to keep herself alive. Because she's pretty dang w wicked. That's what I think. When you say keep her keep herself alive, do you mean just generally alive or to keep herself out of prison? Keep herself out of prison. Hmm. That's interesting. Yes. That's what I think. I, I think like she's that a lot. going to she's gonna come after it, she's gonna take the baby and she will confront Finn and say, You can have your baby or Finn and Steffi together. You can have Hayes back. I get out of here scot free. You don't know where I am. I like that. I can I, I can totally see that happening. Now, from that point, it could get it could get pretty tricky, just because of hearing some rumblings that maybe a scary Finn is going to come out to protect his family. Yeah. So I don't know, but that's that's what I that's that's my prediction. I like it. We'll see. I like it, Terry. Can totally see that happening. Very sudsy. Like very sudsy. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm going to take your prediction that could happen um, as a spinoff of what you you just predicted, and or as a standalone. Uh, a couple things. Uh, I think the kidnapping. I agree with that. I think that that'll happen, or certainly could happen. Um, I think Finn's going to, if the baby's kidnapped, then I think Finn goes off the deep end. I think Finn ends up shooting Sheila. Ooh, I so like he, that. He, I think I can see that scenario happening where he, yeah. he, to get, you know, to go get the child back, he ends up, you know, shooting her. Um, wow. yeah. and it goes that route. Ooh. Um, the other thing, I had one other thought on that. Um, no, I think I was just going to tie those two things together. Okay. 
Um, I do think, though, that I'm going to make another prediction, and that is I think uh, I'm going <laughs> to – this will surprise you. So I think Dollar Bill – so Dollar Bill's going to keep on Katie's. He's going to try and keep reuniting with Katie. That's going to continue to fail because she's kind of falling for Carter already. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think what will end up happening is he then will finally move on. He's either going to go after Brooke again and or Taylor Hayes. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. That might that might happen. I I wouldn't have thought Taylor because she is too intelligent. I know. Um but, but she's a lot more like Katie than Brooke is. Yeah. So, huh. Okay, because I was going to say Ridge will try to convince Brooke to get back to him, but Will, Bill would be waiting in the wings. So I kind of like I kind of like your prediction. That would be fun. What, and you're... Ridge would hate it if Bill dated Taylor. Oh. He would. Oh, that could be. That could be go. really sudsy. <laughs> yeah, it could. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Gosh, there's just so much going on. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not even Friday yet, Terry. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's snowing again. Yeah. Is it? Just looked Yay. out the window. Yes. <laughs> Great. I think oh, we're well. gonna have white Christmas. <laughs> I I'm I think so. Especially next week, the temps are gonna drop. It's gonna get cold now. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well. Let's see okay, buddy. If, if we're right on any of these things, Terry. Yeah, exactly. And maybe right. a couple months down the road. Yeah, right. All right, until we dish again. Mm, keep it sudsy. And we're out. <laughs>